a warm welcome to all the participants of one week online short term course on publications projects and patents today is day 3 today's speaker is dr chawa venkatesh assistant professor cvr college of engineering hyderabad today's topic is manuscript writing part 1 and reference management now i call upon mr b jagadish assistant professor cvr college of engineering hyderabad to introduce today's speaker jagadish sir sir thank you sir uh, this is jagadish uh, are you able to hear my voice yes yes proceed yeah uh, it gives me an honor to uh, introduce you all to the today's guest speaker Uh, Dr. Chawa sir, Chawa Venkatesh completed his B.Tech in Civil Engineering from SSJ Engineering College, Hyderabad, and a PhD in Structural Engineering from Vidyan University, Guntur, Andhra Pradesh. Presently, he is working as uh, an assistant professor uh, uh, with uh, CVR College of Engineering, and he has a total of uh, four years of research experience uh, and uh, one and a half years of teaching experience. His areas of interest include. sustainable sust, uh, sustainable cementitious materials cement chemistry concrete durability and microstructural characterization of concrete so far he has published uh, 22 indexed journals uh, out of them uh, 11 are uh, sci sci e and uh, e sci journals the research articles and uh, he has also uh, given uh, 10 paper presentations at various international and uh, national level conferences he is also having uh, one patent on his so uh, let me welcome you all uh, to the today's uh, speaker dr chawa venkatesh dr chawa venkatesh this uh, the stage is yours thank you yes sir so, thank you sir so good evening to one and all first of all i would like to thanks the participants of this one week online short term course on publications projects patents and also the management of cvr college of engineering head of the department and civil engineering association students and my dear faculties for giving me this opportunity so right now we are in the day 3 of the short term course so in this session we are completely discussing about the manuscript writing and reference management so as i mentioned earlier so research is a time travel difference between the p to p so p the starting p is problem identification and the destiny p is maybe the publication maybe a project maybe a patent maybe a production of any kind of materials so from the yesterday lecture so we are assuming that we have identified our research problem so it means right now we are here so let me take a pen so right now we are here so we are all assuming that so we have identified a research problem in our research area and we have collected the preliminary data we have conducted the experimental studies both pilot and ma major experimental studies all the data is ready with us now we need to convert this data into the publications so it requires some skills so because our ultimate aim is to publish a very good index in general so so we require the uh, required skills to write the paper so so coming to the will be having a different kind of uh, research articles so generally uh, in majority of cases we'll see the these types so first one is research article and second one is the review article and third one is a maybe a short communications or letters or research reports let me take a case by case so what is a research article so research article is nothing but the so we are presenting we are presenting or we are publishing our own work that means it is a publishing a original work of the author that is called the research article then what is the review article so review article is not a original research article so review article nothing but the it is a summary it is a summary of existing literature from the day one to today of in a particular topic that is called the review article review article means we are summarizing the 
entire literature and we are converting into a paper that is called the review paper. So research article means it is our original research article publishing that is called the, we are publishing the original research in, gen, in general that is called the research articles. So coming to the, these two is well known terms. Now the third type is letters, research notes, shortcomings. It is some little, little uh, new to us because we heard frequently about the research articles and review articles. Now, what is this letters and research notes and short communications? So these are also a type of research articles, but the pages constraints will be there because these are very in short manner. The pages are limited to less than six, preferably three to four pages. So within the given pages, we need to communicate our data, our novelty, to the general house. So then we will go for the letters instead of research article and review article. So for example, if you're doing a emerging work in so-and-so domain, so that worth having high novelty, there is a immediate need in the society. In such cases, whenever you are having the high novelty in such cases, it is advised to go uh, for the uh, letters or short communications instead of re research article and review article. The weightage is same for all the type of articles. Even though if you publish the research article, review article or letter, short notes or short communications. So the weightage is same. So in the API score, academic progress uh, score. So the weightage is same for the, all these type of publications. So now there is a point. For example, a person want to do the PhD. So before joining or before applying for the PhD, it is advised to write a review article. It shows, first of all, you need to select a research topic and you start the literature on the topic and write a good review article and publish that review article. And now you apply for any kind of uh, PhD, not, uh, PhD to the universities or NITs or uh, even in the foreign universities. If you have a review article, definitely they will consider you for the admission. So that is a very, very key. So if any MTech students are right now in the session, please try to focus on the review article. So review articles give the confidence on your research gap, your objectives and your selected topic. So now coming to the research article. Yes. So weightage is same for all. And as I mentioned uh, earlier, so review articles having more popularity than other articles. Why means it is a summary of the literature because now some literature papers, they contain the hundred references means. So the person studied the hundred papers and summarized these hundred papers and written in a single paper that is called the review papers. So obviously it has in the higher weightage. When coming to the PhD, so, so if you want to award a PhD, definitely you need to publish at least as per the you know, any kind of universities, at least one to two research articles, which should be indexed by Scopus or AC. So the two papers must be a research articles we cannot get a degree with review articles. Why? Because we are taking PhD degree on so-and-so topic. So the PhD degree is your original contribution. So we need to publish only the research articles. We need to publish the only research articles. Means we need to publish our original work. Now, so in this session, I'm completely discussing about the research article. So maybe in the Friday, the Professor Uma Mahesh Reddy sir will discuss about the how to write review article. So in this session, I am completely discussing about the research article. So coming to the, what are the different sections of this research article? So it is a standard format. If you take any kind of publisher house, maybe a Springer, maybe elsewhere, maybe a trial run Francisco, 
ट्रायल रन फ्रांसिस आर एएससी एएसएमई सो एनी काइंड ऑफ पब्लिशर इफ यू टेक द फॉर्मेट ऑफ ऑल द रिसर्च आर्टिकल्स इज सेम इट स्टार्ट विद द एब्स्ट्रैक्ट इट एंड विद द रेफरेंसेस हियर आई एम नॉट मेंशनिंग अबाउट द एनी टाइटल आदर्स अफिलिएशंस सो आई एम नॉट डिस्कसिंग अबाउट दोस थिंग्स सो हियर एब्स्ट्रैक्ट टू रेफरेंसेस यस सो व्हाट इज references now here i will show what how the research article will looks see let me open a browser so so i think screen is visible here yeah so so this is the research article so these are the components of the or sections of the research article so here it is a title and author names and publication details and it is the abstract so in the research article abstract introduction of course keywords then materials and methods then results and discussions see here it is a results and discussion result and discussion and another session is another section is conclusions see here it is a conclusions and finally references so i think now we got the clarity so now once again i am going to share my screen so the standard format for the manuscript is abstract introduction materials and methods results and discussions conclusions and references see many of our many of us we are writing a literature part in the manuscript that is a very very mistake okay so please try to avoid the a, a section called literature in the manuscript there is no separate section uh, name called literature only these sections are there abstract to references now we'll see the section wise so what is abstract so abstract nothing but a, it is giving the summary it is giving the summary of entire your work so within a small paragraph you are summarizing your entire study so while writing the abstract what uh, what parameters we need to be considered first one is we need to mention the our motivation or background of the study why i am doing this study means so we need to introduce our study or if you are working any kind of special materials you try to give the small background of this material in the abstract part or you are working on so and so methodology you try to give a brief background of that methodology so first step we should remember is we need to write in the abstract first line should be background of the work then coming to the next parameter that is called research gap this is a very very important because only whether our paper is going to publish or not it is completely depend on the your research gap if it is very novel definitely your paper will be accepted if it is already so many people are done similar kind of works and same methodology then your paper going to be reject in some cases okay so after writing the background immediately you have to mention the research gap why you need to do the research gap so better mention the very clearly significance of the research for example i am working on cements sustainable cements so in my study i have taken the lc3 cements so my objective is why i have taken the lc3 cement already cement is a very industrialized material then why i need to take the lc3 cements means so the cement industries are the culprit to produce the co2 emission 
so my aim is to reduce the cmo to amnusians so we to we need to mention that research gap very clearly so we need to mention the research gap very clearly so after mentioning the research gap you need to develop a objective so the objective should be match with your research gap so so objective means exactly what we are going to do to fulfill the research gap to fulfill the research gap and something so so i want to evaluate the mechanical properties of lc3 cement that is my objective next we need to write the scope and methodology so what is the scope and methodology to meet the to meet the objectives we need to follow the some kind of paths so the difference between the objective and scope is objective is i want to go to the college scope means whether i will go with you by using the auto or my own vehicle or bus or train or flight mode the mode of reaching the objective is nothing but the scope so to clear your objective to complete your objective you have to select the proper scope and methodology so examples here what type of materials you are using and what type of studies you are conducting to fulfill the research gap so that should be mentioned very very clearly for example here so i am working on the so and so lc3 cements assume so here i have used the material fly ash and ggbs so whatever the materials i am using i have mentioned the clearly and what type of the studies i am going to also mention very clearly here so in the scope we must mention the what uh, material you are using and what studies you are conducting similarly in other domains also so to reach the objective you have to select the some path so that should be mentioned very clearly and another parameter is key findings so key findings are very very important this we we may get from the maybe from the physical and chemical properties of the material or maybe from the experimental results so we need to mention the how you got the result strain means you should not mention the complete results in the key findings then you have performed the some five sets of the sample one percentage to five five percentage out of those five set which set he got the good result that must be mentioned in the key findings so summary of the your studies next final last line of the abstract should be conclude your findings okay so out of this many sets so this is the optimum uh, mix i have achieved from the both mechanical and durability studies you have to mention the very clear so while writing a, a small paragraph we need to follow the these many parameters so we must write the motivation mention the research gap very clearly and we must mention the objective and we need to uh, develop a good scope to reach the objective as well as you have to mention the summary of your result and then you need to write a conclusions in the abstract yes how many words we need to write a abstract if you take any publisher maybe the elsewhere maybe the springer so maximum they will allow up to 250 words the limit there is a limit for abstract so we need to write our abstract within the range of 180 words to 250 words next another important uh, parameter component from the abstract is keywords so keywords why we need to mention keywords in abstract because while you are searching while you are searching a, for example i am taking the so red mud concrete so so if you mention these keywords the keywords are helps to for easy for easy browsing of the particular journal so that's why we need to mention the keywords and that keywords also should be reflect or should be taken from the your abstract 
means maybe you are working on your special material so mention that material or you are working on the special component mention on that component and so if you are performing any kind of special studies you also mention the studies so these keywords help to help you to reach the readers very easily while they are browsing in the google scholar or science direct if you if they entered a keyword okay so your paper will be reflected there so we need to uh, very very clear very effectively we need to write the keywords because it it defend the whether your paper is going to uh, reflect easily in the science direct or not next so next section is introduction so introduction it is giving the clear information or background of this study so introduction nothing but the we need to rationalize behind our paper so here also will be having a several steps so if you take the first step motivation and background of the work so in the abstract you have written only very small and crispy manner just maybe a one line or one and half line background of your material or your study or a methodology now you have a chance to explain very clearly about the your work so we need to write those explanation in the first paragraph of the introduction then after introducing your work so definitely you need to so write the literature so literature means we should not put the separate heading for the literature but we need to summarize the existing results so on so 1999 some person worked on the lc3 cement 2000 somebody work likewise so case by case you have to write the existing literature you have to summarize the existing literature but here so in the in the thesis will follow the year wise maybe the year wise maybe the alphabet wise in some cases but in the research article you should follow the case wise or materials wise for example i am working on the concrete domain so i am working on my objective is mechanical properties and durability properties so in the introduction part first of all i want to discuss about the mechanical properties after completion of mechanical properties only i can go to the durability properties so don't mix the uh, in one sense in one line mechanical properties another line durability but once again uh, coming to the mechanical property and once again go to the durability don't mix the any two studies or two properties it is advised to write case by case or material wise or property wise first you complete the mechanical behavior then you go to the durability then you go to the microstructure analysis so that reader will reader reader will get the smooth feeling and he can easily understand the trend of the existing literature so you have to write the some good amount of literature up to your satisfaction there is no such a limit so only we have to mention the uh, last two, uh, 10 research articles like that but here my advice is whenever you are writing a literature so better to take the last 3 years 3 to 5 years literature 3 to 5 years later for example 2022 so from 2022 you go little 3 years back so and the last paragraph of introduction must be a research gap because in the first paragraph you have introduced the background of the your study and after the two within the two three paragraph you have given the summary of the previous literature now from the literature you have identified the some gap so that gap must be mentioned very clearly in the last paragraph of the introduction so that research gap must be have must be unique and it should have good novelty so once you few mention the research gap then to meet this research gap you need to uh, you need to form a few object and highlight which material or which property or 
so on so component you are working then you uh, you also mention the what kind of studies you are going to uh, perform to achieve your objectives and fulfill the research gap so so this is all about the introduction so in the introduction part we need to remember that in the first paragraph we need to introduce our study our material our methodology very clearly after that we need to write the literature so the literature must be last 3 years it should be it is advised it is a, a very good actually so if you mention the something 2000 literature means already after 2000 so many papers are already in the online so it will give the bad opinion to the reviewer on your research article so so always it is better to follow the last 3 to 5 years literature and you should mention the in the last paragraph research gap very clearly and objectives and scope now our another section is materials and methods so these are all very very important because any kind of changes in the uh, sample that may be due to the these materials or maybe due to the our experimentation so while writing materials and methods we need to be consider these three parameters so first thing is so what materials we have used in your study and you have to mention the that material physical properties chemical properties or any microstructural properties if required we have to provide the all the required data so that the reviewer may assess the trend of your results okay so and so material contain the silica maybe this silica is a reason for enhancing the strength in the concrete like that he will assess and he will evaluate your paper otherwise if you not mention the uh, these physical and mechanical properties during the comments time he will ask the uh, show me the chemical composition of so and so material like that he will ask so it is uh, always advise to write the physical and chemical and microstructural properties of mat all materials used in the your mix and now another uh, thing is we need to write the whatever the test or whatever the standards we have followed so that must be mentioned very clear for example i have i have prepared a mix calculation for my concrete i have to mention based on which code i prepared this mix calculations maybe is uh, is 10262 2019 like that i have to mention very clearly so whatever the code i am using you must mention the code names very clearly so that whenever the reader whenever the reader requires more detail about this kind of experimentation so with the help of thus that code he will easily he will easily uh, he will easily gain the knowledge and next data analysis so data analysis means uh, which type of experiment we are going to do and what is the uh, properties of that uh, uh, setup and etc and capacity of the testing machines and etc we need to mention very clear but uh, here one one uh, constraint is there so in most of the cases we may get the more amount of plagiarism or more percentage of plagiarism from the materials and methods only because if you if you want to work in the cements domain so everybody will mention the physical and chemical properties more or less same the discussion is same the test process are the same and everything is same so during the materials and methods we need to write very carefully even though you are inspired as a sentence from the other other research article definitely you need to duplicate it and you have to write your own manner because the codes are same procedure is same and everything is same so we need to uh, put more attention while writing the materials and methods yes so coming to the very important section results and discussions it is the heart of the research article because our article name itself it is a research article means we are publishing our results we are getting publication because of our result so this section we need to write very carefully very 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 careful 
so here also we'll be having a different kind of parameters we need to be consider while writing the results and discussion first thing we need to mention the data in research article so in what format we need to mention the data so it is always advised to mention your data with the help of the charts or figures and table format so this will help you to the reviewer to the readers easily understand so that they will feel some smooth feeling while reading your paper or while evaluating your papers so whatever the data experimental data or analytical data we have that must be converted uh, converted in the format of charts and graphs and tables so that they will easily understand once you mention the data you have to explain the results very carefully very carefully so how we need to explain the results so for example if you are working on a compressive strength of a so and so concrete so in that test you have taken the five sets of the samples so so within the five sets one set is a reference set and four sets are the special mixes so now you have to explain so as compared to the your reference set your special mix how much percentage strength is increased or how much percentage strength is uh, decreased so like that you have to mention with reference to already with reference to the reference sample okay so each 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 test you have to follow like this and coming to the discussion so discussion will uh, will give, will take the decision whether your paper is going to publish or not because in most of cases so we'll uh, put the graphs and figures and charts in our research paper and we'll also mention the results okay so as compared to the this mix this mix has got the 10 percentage higher 20 percentage higher mix a got the 10 mix b got the 20 mix c got the 30 like that we'll mention but always we'll forgot to discuss the result discuss the results because so you are doing the research the research is a two types first one is a first case is developing the existing one are completely innovating new in most of the cases throughout the world 99% people are doing the first mix they are just developing the existing ones so you need to very careful while writing the discussion so first thing is it is always advised to write the reason for any kind of results deviation maybe somewhere you got the high result maybe somewhere you got the low, low result you have to mention the why the result is changed maybe why it is increased why it is decreased if you given the clear reason the reviewer and reader will understand very clearly and it will leads to quick publication of your paper so always we need to mention the reason for all the results deviation and another point is you should match always your research gap so so you got the some results x so you need to always relate your x results to your research gap then only your entire theme will be fulfilled and also it is better to compare the other study results for example something i have mentioned that 10 percentage red mud replaced concrete has got the high compressive strength so uh, the reviewer may ask okay why it is got the 10 percentage if i have a microstructural data i can showing the microstructural images i can define it so when you don't have the sufficient uh, sufficient ev evidence to show to the reviewer in such cases so it is advised to mention the others results so and so paper so and so jagadish uh, study so similar kind of results were observed 5 percentage uh, compressive strength is increased and so and so ramanjanel study also shown the similar kind of conclusion if you write like this those if you are taking the others paper as a reference means that paper is already published already published means what 
the reviewers are accepted the review the publication house is accepted so that so they already accepted that statement means it will give the added advantage it will give the added advantage to your statement so that's why during the discussion results and discussion in each study or each section you please mention the some literature uh, supporting statements so that your paper will be get accepted very easily generally we will do citations citations are limited to the introduction part only so we will uh, cite the all the uh, text in the introduction part and after that we forgot to cite but don't do like that so you cite wherever you required you cite in the material and methods uh, section you cite in the results discussion but you should not cite anything in the abstract we should not cite anything in the abstract so uh, that's all about the results and discussion so here we need to be consider the we need to draw the good quality of graphs and figures and uh, uh, tables then you need to explain the your uh, results trend whether it is increasing or decreasing with the help of the percentage or numerical supports and most important we need to discuss the each results deviation and we need to always match our results with the research gap and compare with the existing literature then it will become a very good results and discussion section yes how much how many words we need to maintain in the each section in the results and discussion for example in my study i am do i am studying the three studies three um, i am performing the three test one is the compressive strength there uh, make uh, flexural strength and flexural uh, split tensile strength these three test i am conducted in my study now in the compressive strength study i have to write the at least 500 words so each study we need to write the 500 words if you write more in the uh, results and discussion the reviewer feel yes he will get the more clarity he will feel very uh, convenient to evaluate your paper so it is always advised to write the results and uh, results and discussion section and sub sections must be uh, should be at least 500 to 700 words okay and coming to the conclusions so here you are concluding the your study maybe a positive trend maybe a negative trend you need to conclude based on the your observation and analysis while concluding also while writing the conclusions also we need to remember that so three parameters should be reflect in our conclusions first one is the research object once again you need to remind to the reviewer or reader this is my objective this is my object you have to remind to the reviewer and reader so that they will they will understand your conclusions very easily so then after a small uh, introduction about your research uh, objective then you focus ma majorly on review of key findings review of key findings so so it means so you have conducted the series of tests out of which have got has got the high compressive strength high durability high uh, good mechanical properties like that you have to mention the optimum results with the supporting of the reason and also your conclusions must match with the research gap so in the earlier cases we have mentioned that due to the co2 emanation there is a problem to the environment that's why instead of cement i am using some other kind of materials we have mentioned very clearly your research gap now you need to prove whether your research gap is fulfilled or not only with your experimental results that must be right very clearly in the conclusion sections and coming to the some kind of limitation to future work so that, those are all optional things generally in the most of the cases in the review article will write the future scope scope because we are sir, we are doing the literature on from the hundreds of papers so that we can write the some future scope but in the research article people want, very 
uh, convenient to write the feature scope. Why? Because because they want to publish the another paper. They want to produce the another paper. So that's why people always neglect to write the future scope of your work. If you are a true researcher, it is really useful to the society. Definitely, you try to mention the future scope. So the reviewer may feel very happy. Yes, this person is very genuine person because he mentioned the future scope. So like that, they will they will evaluate in a positive manner. And from if you mention the research scope, means what will happen? Those who are working on the same area, they may get easily identify the research gap. So your research scope will be their research. gap your scope your future future scope will be their research gap then research will continue like this so likewise we have to write the conclusions now i will show whether all the research articles are following these kind these parameters or not now see so it is one of my article so always the title must be very specific so in this study i am using a material called red mud as a cementitious material and my major focus is only on durability studies that's why i have mentioned the durability so don't mention the experimental study as experimental investigation and so on so like that you mention the very specific title exactly it must be reflect the your objective and then you need to write the uh, author's name while writing also while writing author name also we need to uh, we need to consider one point always write in a single for, uh, same format for example if you are mentioning a chava venkatesh so next paper also you mention the chava venkatesh don't uh, mention the venkatesh chava or ch venkatesh or c venkatesh venkatesh c so don't use a different uh, Uh, different formats of the name in different uh, research articles follow the same name format in all your research articles so that you will get some uh, recognition in the research world so in the abstract our first point is introducing the background of material method or a study so here i have introduced my material and after that i have mentioned the research gap what is the problem so because of this disposal leads to environmental imbalance this is my research gap and to overcome this research i have followed the some uh, scope that is so i have used the red mud in different replacement levels and uh, so different studies i have conducted same xrd like that i have uh, mentioned the few studies and so our fourth point is key findings so here i have mentioned from the comprehensive strength results means i have mentioned the key findings of my study in the abstract also and finally i concluded so so 10 percentage red mud replacement concrete having the high comprehensive strength because of only cgl formation like that i have concluded my my study within the abstract level so here i followed the i given the pre background of the material and research gap i have mentioned objectives i have mentioned and that scope and methodology i have mentioned key findings mentioned and conclusions also i mentioned so please whenever you are writing a research article you don't write don't start your research article with abstract you start write you you start write first results and discussion then you come to the materials and methods and you write the introduction so i have mentioned here the keywords so alphabet order wise so here these are my keywords which are completely reflecting uh, from the abstract and uh, coming to the introduction part so in the first paragraph itself i have clearly mentioned and background of my material and my study so after the first paragraph what i did is i started doing the literature see here i did not mention the separate section for the literature but the literature is comes under the introduction part only 
see few studies were conducted so and so so and so like that so material wise and case wise so here this in this paper my focus is on durability so here initially i was mentioned about the mechanical properties and after that i have started discussing about the completely durability properties why durability is increased from the existing study like that i have mentioned and my last paragraph as per the literature i have identified the research gap so here in this paragraph i clearly mentioned about my research gap so from that research gap so so from that research gap so i have uh, formed the few objectives so objectives and scope of the how many replacements i am going to do and what are the studies i am going to uh, perform like that all the details objective and scope method details are completely mentioned at the end of introduction then i moved to the materials and method session so here i whatever the material i am using i mentioned the, all the physical chemical properties and code provisionals for all the type of properties so that reviewer and reader will get the smooth feeling while they are reading and evaluating our paper it will give the positive impression yes this person is completely given the all the details like that he will feel so like that whatever the materials i have used i have clearly mentioned the physical and chemical properties in the uh, uh, materials and method section then i have, i said the procedure test procedures so here these are the test procedures so while writing this uh, test procedure we must very very careful because this paragraph is same for all the studies because the test procedure is same for everyone so we need to write very carefully uh, to cut with plagiarism and you have to mention the some kind of experimental photos if required and coming to the results and discussion yes here the results and discussion so initially so my first sub content is compressive strength see so here i graph graph is mentioned and completely completely i have discussed all the things why the results are uh, Uh, getting increased or getting decreased so i has mentioned the very clearly all the results and uh, reasons also i mentioned very clearly so and uh, also i cited the other research articles you you can see here so due to the high alkaline nature the red mud accelerate the poslanic reaction between the cementitious material so here i get, i have given the citation means so already this So reference one, twelve, twenty, thirty-five also given the similar kind of statement. Those papers are already published. Means it is validated. It is validated. Our results are validated with the existing literature, so that the reviewer may get positive opinion on our results. So likewise, so we need to write the reasons and write all the. Uh, Uh, sections uh, very clearly and maintain at least to 500 to 700 words now i am going to the conclusions part see here i introduced i introduced my study so after evaluation during properties like that i introduced and firstly i have mentioned the key findings why the strength is increasing and why the strength is uh, reducing and how much percentage mix has got and what is the optimum percentage like that i have mentioned that each and every section is very clearly so like that you have to write the research articles to get published very easily in a good journal now i am going to the another important topic that is called the reference management it is a very very compulsory we need to focus on the reference management so in the reference management we need to look at the two points one is the citation another one is the reference because our research article end with the reference section so we need to focus on the references also so what is citation and what is reference citation nothing but so you are giving acknowledgement to the 
you are giving acknowledgement to the your inspired research article something i have taken a sentence from the uh, so and so general so and so research article so i used that word in our research my research articles then to acknowledge the that uh, inspired uh, sentence i have to give the citation for example so here cement is a uh, by pro, uh, cement is a one of the construction material this word is given by the jagdish so the, in the jagdish research article this sentence is mentioned now i want to use that sentence so i will use in a different manner i will use in the different manner or duplicate manner but i will cite his research article because that is the research ethic whenever we are taking something whenever we are getting inspired from others definitely we need to quote them so we need to mention the that reference paper in our within the body of the text that is called the citation then what is the references so whatever you are inspired the title entire the details of the other publications and page numbers etc must be mentioned so that is references now we have a doubt what is the citation when where will keep the citation and where will put the references so references is no confusion because it is always at the end of the research article now coming to the citation so citations nothing but so you are quoting the person who inspired inspired you within the body text within the body maybe the introduction maybe the literature review maybe the uh, materials and method or conclusion section so within the manuscript you are quoting some others research work that is called the citation very clearly you see if you see, see the example here so here the format of citation is rukstan 2016 rukstan 2016 here only the last name of the author and year of that publication only mentioned within the body mean nothing but within the introduction within the materials and method within the research and discussion now coming to the references so whatever the code you have quoted in the uh, manuscript body that is ruxton ruxton 2016 so that entire paper must details must be provided in the references so the references covers other name year of publication and article title and general title page numbers and doi of that particular journal so complete details of that reference complete details of that citation must be mentioned in the references so here one small suggestion whatever the papers you are citing that must be present in the references or in other case whatever the references you are used that must be cited in the text okay the both together should be present now i will show so where we need to use the citation and references see so it is a introduction part so within the introduction part we are using this citation this reference means that is called citation so this reference we are using within the manuscript that is called the citation so not only introduction part if you use any way from the introduction to up to results and discussion if you use any way okay that is called as a citation so if you use the end of the research article that is a reference i think you got the clarity difference between the citation and references now so to get the more clarity so there are the some comparisons between the citation and references as you know citation is mentioned in the main body of the manuscript and reference will be mentioned at the end of the manuscript so the citation will give the basic source of information means what is the last name of the author or what is the name of the author and year of publication it will give the only that much information only it won't give the any kind of what is the title of the article general of the article page number that won't be present in the citation 
when coming to the references the references will give the complete details how many authors are there their names and year of publication and uh, uh, general uh, general publication name reference uh, page numbers everything they will give the very clearly and it will give the uh, separate for example if you are using the any kind of code okay you have to code that code in that uh, refer, uh, cite as a citation and complete code details must be provided in the references so here one suggestion so how to write a citation and references especially citation so remember that always you need to write a citation in this manner publication year and last name of the author my name is chava venkatesh so chava venkatesh no venkatesh is my first name chava is my last name so i have to write chava 2022 in the introduction part that is citation so coming to the references okay chava venkatesh jagadish kamanjneelu and 2022 he published one research article in materials today proceedings and the details of that paper how many page numbers and what is the volume number issue number the complete details will be mentioned in the references yes so every journal have their own format so coming to the will be having a different uh, types of reference styles are there in some cases the citations or references completely depend on the academic disciplines so for example if you take the apa it is nothing but the american psychological association it is a very very famous these two mla and ieee apa format is generally see in the most of the publications okay so these are re related to the these academic disciplines so apa will be used in the education psychology and sciences the mla modern language association style is used for the humanities majoritarily and this chicago and uh, uh, turabian style is used in the business arts and fine uh, in the, in the, in the domain and coming to the ieee style so it is a very very popular because all the conferences used to follow the ieee format only so that will be used most of the cases in engineering and it domains so here we need to remember the three citation formats one is the apa format mla format and i really form it only these three formats are majorly we are using in most of the publication about 80 percentage of publications are publisher houses following these three formats only now coming to the apa style so in the apa style so we need to write the first last name of the author and year of publication last name of the author and year of publication in some cases we also mention the page number for example if you are writing if you are taking a source from the book or a book chapter so it is advised to mention the uh, page number also so that the reader will get the easily for the, his reference so if you are having the single author just mention the smith 2020 and if you having the two others you mention the uh, two others names once you cross the more than two others then you have to go for the at all so if you have a two others mention those two others last names if more than two others are there you mention the first other name the last name and mention the at all then year of the publication then will be having a two types of citations one is a narr narr narrative citation and is another parenthetical citation what is the narrative citation and parenthetical citation if you are citing if you are citing at the end of the paragraph that is called the parenthetical citation if you want to cite a research article in bit, in between the sentence that is called the narrative uh, narrative citation you remember that whenever you are citing at the end of the paragraph you need to select the parenthetical citation whenever you are citing within the statement then you need to use the narrative citation then coming to the references yes how the apa format will looks see so these are the citations for your references 
So here, first of all, you need to mention the last name and initial and uh, other name, uh, other last name and initials. So then year of publication and title of the research article, title of the general volume issues, page numbers and DOI number if present. Okay. So this reference style we need to follow in the API. See, so here example, see here the other names and research uh, publication year, publication title and uh, general title, volume numbers and page numbers. So these, these, in this format, you have to write the API style. Then go to the MLS style. So it is also same. So citation means always you need to write the last name and page name, last name and year of publications. Yes. So here also, this is the format for the citations and uh, this is the format for the references. So how we need to write the references. See, first of all, here are others last name, others first name completely, others uh, uh, first name and last name and title of the article and other details like that you have to mention very clearly. So in the both MLA and APA format. Now coming to the IEEE format. So in case of the IEEE format, you no need to write any kind of other names and publication here. You just mention the references in bracket. So for example, here it is a my reference one. So this reference one, I will uh, keep in the introduction, some so on so uh, in, in the introduction part on so on so sentence. So instead of writing the last name and year of publication, you just mention the number of reference. Okay. So for example, like that you have shown by round four mentioned earlier, like that you have to mention, like that you have to mention. So in most of the uh, conferences, we used to follow the, this IEEE format. Now, some of the tools are very useful, uh, very useful and re even required also to keep the citations and references with uh, very effectively and within a small time, because how much time you are taking for the public uh, writing a paper. So more than 50% of the time is consumed by this uh, reference and uh, citation formats only. So to save our time, we require the, some kind of tools. First one is citation machine and uh, Mendeley, EndNote, Jutero, Big Guru, like that. We, these are so many uh, tools are available in online with the free open source. So here the double star indicates these are very, very user friendly tools. These are very, very user friendly tools. Now I will show you how to cite a research article by using these citation manager tools. So here, just let me open the citation mission. So here I'm taking the title or DIO number. It is better to take DIO number because it is a unique. Just a minute. So citation mission, citation mission. Then here it is showing the create a citation. Then just click on creative citation. Then you want to cite for a book means your book publication or you want to cite for your general article, you have to select. So here, I'm showing for a general. So asking, so general and enter the title or DIO number. So here I'm entering the DIO number. So it is loading and it is showing the some details. Yeah. So role of Redmond as a cementitious material. 
So it is showing the details of the publication. See here also it is there roll off. So it is showing the genuine only. So then here you click on the site. You click on the site. It will show the some information. So information of the general title, the public uh, general title, publication year, and uh, dates of the publication and title of the article. Then you have to click on the continue. So it will ask the some details. So just you click on the complete the citation. So no problem. In a day, if you cross the twenty, it will ask the money. But don't worry. Both sponsored messages. Just complete this twenty-seven seconds video, so that you will get the free source. So, with the help of the citation uh, mission website, in a day you can get the twenty references or citations. It's about twelve uh, seconds. Yeah, see. So it is asking. So whether you required APA format or MLA format like that here, so many formats are there. MLA, APA, something like that. So here I have selected the so APA format, and uh, this is my general. See the see roll of red mud as a cementing material. That is uh, uh, my general. Whatever I am searching for the citation see here. Copy citation. Copy in text citation. So here I am copying the citation. So citation is copied. Now, just, just enter like this, or I will open the empty page so that you will get the some clarity. See. So it's loading. So definitely it will work hundred percent. Are the in this box I am just pasting. See, so like that I have written the reference, Bangladesh, and uh, all co other details. And year of that publication, next title of the paper, and title of the general, volume and issue numbers, and DA numbers. Everything is came. Everything is came. Now you require the in-text citation. Generally, people used to call as a in-text citation because in-text means it is within the text. See, like what is it is asking. So here it is mentioned see, like that. Okay, so like that you have to uh, cite your research articles. Now another easy method is, so so this the citation means is limited to twenty twenty references in a day. Now you want to uh, put a more than hundred citations, then you have to use the Google Scholar. So in the Google Scholar. Just you copy the title. Just come to the Google Scholar. So it is okay. Okay. So here, if you see here, site. Just click on this site. So here, different formats are there: MLA format, APA format, Chicago format, Harvard. Like that, whatever the format we required, it is already presented here. Just simply you copy and paste at the end of the references. This is the easiest and simple method. Okay, see, so you can also see your research articles, uh, how much citations uh, it is received. So like that, easily you can be able to uh, put the citations and references by using these kind of tools. Not only this, if you use the, if you are very uh, friendly to use the Mendeley, that is also a very good option. So, but generally, I used to follow these uh, research, uh, Google Scholar 
a format because it is very simple and easy so number we can do the thousand references in a day also okay so what will happen if you cite the others papers what will happen so uh, in the research domain we need some recognition like so and so other did the novel work so how we are going to show based on our research credential so whenever you are citing the others or whenever you are receiving the citations from the others it will reflect in your research profile see for example if i searched here okay so it is showing the author received the how many paper how many papers are published by the authors in a, a, a year on year and it will show the citations so see so till date i received the 205 citations and means 205 papers are cited my work like that in your case also so whenever you are publishing continuously definitely your research will go to the uh, public and definitely they will start citing and start following your research articles okay so like that uh, we need to uh, keep the citations and references yes uh, now i want to show the small things so how to search a paper for example in most of the cases we don't have access to download the full length paper in such cases how to download a research article so for example here i am taking the dio number copying the link address will be having a one website that is called sci hub that is called sci hub so you just so enter your dio number DOI actually it is called DOI Digital Objective Identifier. It is a unique number like our Aadhaar card. See, so once you place the DOI DOI number, the your paper you can get the any kind of paper download very easily. So it is a one website. Another website Libgen. Libgen the website called is a Libgen. I think uh, now it is under maintenance. I guess. so libgen yeah so by using these uh, libgens also we can able to download the research articles i think already i have mentioned so it will the page open like this so in the search bar i entered the title of the my research paper then i clicked on the search so it is showing the details so in that way also we can able to download a research article very easily okay so means it is advised to use always sci hub sci hub is a very uh, very user friendly you can get the papers all from all the publishers very easily but when the paper is published in the december 2000 uh, november 2020 immediately we cannot uh, download from the sci hub in such cases you require the subscription okay or it is advised to go for the open access then so how to search now here i am searching lc3 cements lc3 cements that is my keyword okay so where this keyword is uh, uh, presented on our paper so just below to the abstract if you given the very clear uh, uh, useful keyword definitely your paper will be reflected on this uh, engine so i have to open the science direct and enter the keyword so here there are n number of papers see based on the keyword these papers are all reflected here and you can see here how to refine the research articles so maybe you require the only last 3 years so 2021 22 20 19 okay so you use the last 3 years data and you required only the review articles then you click on the review articles only review articles will come or if you want to only the book chapters or if you want to only the short communications so like that you have to select the uh, which type of general you require then in some cases uh, you need to read the some small kind of textbooks also 
so whenever you are using textbook that is comes under the bibliography there is a difference between the reference and bibliography bibliography means no need to cite or no need, uh, no need to mention or no need to acknowledge the the inspired sentence from the others okay so for example i refer i did the i referred a textbook so i should not uh, uh, mention in the body of the research article like a citation okay so in the bibliography no need to cite the research article that is the difference between the reference reference must be cited in the manuscript but bibliography you can cite or you can uh, you as per your choice as per your choice so that is all about from my side so ramanil sir uh, yes sir sir uh, so my, yes. my mm. your part completed okay yeah uh, dear participants if you have any queries you can ask now uh, i'll <clears throat> enable uh, unmute yourself otherwise you can raise your hands uh, and you can unmute yourself and you can ask questions or otherwise even you can type your question in the chat box uh, sir uh, mr uh, akibali has raised the hand good evening sir sir good evening sir tell me sir uh, right explanation sir uh, when you you given the lot of information regarding the many expression and my doubt is that uh, uh, here three to four others are there sir any paper Yes, uh, how they are giving the weightage for the first other or the, how much percentage second other i want yes. to know that yes sir sir generally in our research article only two types of other sir one is the corresponding other which is communicating the research article remaining all others are co others so the weightage is same for the both others means even though you are a co other you can get the same credential points but uh, coming to the api score so they will give the two marks for correspond uh, example sir i am telling two marks for corresponding other single mark for co others maybe your position a 4 or 5 or 10 or 20 they will give the one mark for the uh, co other but the uh, credential is equal to both the others okay sir thank you Uh, hello sir madam good evening uh, yeah good evening sir very good explanation sir okay, uh, sir uh, can you suggest some of reputed uh, can you hear me sir yes 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 madam please tell uh, me uh, can you suggest some of the reputed journals which need uh, less publication time okay madam yes madam so there are two ways madam uh, if you want to get public publication very quickly there are two ways first thing is you need to concentrate on the special uh, open access journals madam like if you take the mdpi journal so they will publish within a month but they will charge more so or in some cases uh, uh, some newly uh, indexed journals are there for example if you take in the civil engineering domain the general name called journal of building pathology and rehabilitation so that is a newly indexed journal so whenever it is coming very newly so that they don't have that much uh, frequency so they will get easily published so if you want to search what are the new journals then you have to go to the scopus indexed website can you just tell me once again sir what is what is the yeah yeah, yeah can I'm you sorry. just repeat sir what was that one is like mdp M M D P I madam. P I okay. Yeah, they will publish. And second one. Second sir? one is the like you need to concentrate on the new journals are indexed by Scopus or S C. Like new admission to the uh, indexing madam. So if you want to so see. So do we know that? Uh, yeah, yeah. Which are those? Yes, madam. Now I am showing. Yeah. Just, yeah. Um, yes. Yes, madam. So you please follow my screen, madam. Here I am typing Scopus.
Yeah. So if you see here, madam, Scopus content is there, and here the Scopus list. Just you download that list, madam. So it will take a good amount of time, maybe five to ten minutes. Yes. So it is downloaded. Yes, it is opening now. <coughs> so it contains so much of data, that's why it is taking too much time. Sir, in uh, scopus.com, where did you click? Because there was no signal. I couldn't get which uh, this you had clicked on. Yes, madam. So here scopus content is there now, madam. Just now I highlighted. Yes, sir. Yes. Under this, the scopus source list is there. Madam. Scopus source list is there here. Oh. Download symbol also there. So you just click on this download symbol automatically one Excel sheet will download madam. It will contains the recent indexed as Scopus generals. Okay, sir. Hmm. Venkate, sir. One, sir, one me, question sir. is on uh, in the uh, chart box. box. Okay. How many minimum number of pages of manuscript required for each research paper to be published? Yes, sir. Sir, actually, uh, if you take the research article, it should be more than six pages, sir. But there is no limit uh, in terms of pages, sir. But the limit in terms of words. The research article should not cross the more than 6,000 words. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, another question from... Uh, KPK. Okay, sir. Suppose a paper is published by two persons hmm. whose name should come first. Is it alphabetical order? No, sir. Based on who is the corresponding other, that those names will come first. Sir. Okay. Is there any other questions from participants? Please, you can sir, ask. Sir, is the uh, MDPI, uh, uh, you know. Yes, madam. Please unmute yourself, madam. Sir, is MDI considered for uh, uh, research publication, sir? Will it be considered? Like, for example, in institutes like NITs and IITs, would they consider? 100%, madam. Actually, elsewhere, Springer are the top publishers, madam. But uh, this MDPI, MDPI is uh, very, it, it is giving more competition to the elsewhere and Springer generals, madam. Because even though they are publishing within a small time, they will do the very effective review, critical review they will do, madam. So even if you take the, all the kind of foreign universities and uh, uh, even our IITs, NITs, people will publish in the MD pay journals because they have funding from the projects. So they, can, they will publish uh, in that manner, madam. But the coming to the quality is excellent. It is comparative to the elsewhere. No compromise at all from the quality. So within a week, you will get the technical reviews and they will suggest the some uh, good. Re if, if you are unable to do the review, attend the review comments, they will give one more chance to uh, uh, do answer the review questions. And coming to the uh, grammatical point of view also, they will do the proofreading and they will some uh, suggestion, they will give the some suggestions in terms of proofreading also. Quality will be very, very good. 
so there is no difference between okay, the yes sir thank venkate sir another question is like this from jn kajale sir how many minimum number of reference papers of manuscript required for a research paper to be published yes sir sir uh, minimum at a at a minimum case also we need to so mention at least to 30 to 40 references 30 to 40 references it shows you have good knowledge on the literature so if you are mentioning the 30 to 40 references indicates that you are thorough in that 30 to 40 papers so that a reviewer uh, feel very uh, positive okay. okay dear participants if you have any queries you can ask otherwise uh, we will conclude the session sir how best a review paper can be published any uh, suggestions uh... yes madam for publishing again in good journals or review papers Yes, madam. First of all, we need to do the critical review, madam. At least uh, uh, more than one. At least you can take the 150 papers, man. Do the critical review and write a very crispy manner, uh, point can wise. You madam, your voice is uh, getting. Hello, sir. Can you hear me now? Yes, madam. Yes, madam. Hello, sir. Can you hear me now? Yes, madam. Yes, madam. So, what is uh, your suggestion for uh, publishing the review papers in good journals, sir? Like, what uh, this we have to, you know, follow? Yes, madam. Because generally review papers get rejected, no, sir. So, what is your uh, suggestion for uh, accepting uh, review papers in good journals? Can't hear you, sir. Can't hear you. Yes. Venkate, sir. I think he has got low signal. I will call him up otherwise and ask him, clear my doubt. Okay. Okay, madam. Yeah. Yeah. Ramos Thank you. Audible. Thanks a lot. Ramos, sir. Hi. Venkate, sir. Now. Uh, yes, yes. Now audible. Yes, sir. I, I, will... Okay, sir. I will call you, sir. I will call you. Okay. Okay, madam. You can call later. Uh, yeah. Venkate, sir. Another question is like this. Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, sir. Yes. Ah, yes, yes. J sir, I believe uh, Dr. Venkatesh might have left the meeting. He will be joining in one moment. Yeah. He has joined back. Yes, sir. Ramos, okay, sir. Sir. Uh, questions are there. Yes, yes. Yeah. How many pages are required for SCI journal paper? Sir, actually, there is no page constraint, sir. Okay. So, at least we need to maintain the more than six papers. Mm. Yes, same person Jatin asking like this mm. please suggest some civil engineering SA journals for quick publication for quick publications uh, sir uh, you better go to the open access general sir so okay. that uh, your paper will get published uh, within a two to three months or uh, if you send to the any special issues for example if you take the so many special issues are running now in the elsewhere so even in the construction building materials also giving one special issue. If you try that special issues, definitely your paper will get accepted very easily as compared to the regular article. Okay. Uh, another question. Which plagiarism software used for manuscript? Sir, it is entire universe. We are following one uh, tool, sir. That is Turnitin. Turnitin. Yes. Uh, in chat box, uh, no questions. Dear participants, if we have any query, you can ask. Otherwise, we'll conclude session now. Uh, sir, Dr. Venkatesh. Sir, tell me, sir. Sir, uh, I have a query. So uh, there was this question asked on the number of uh, limits for the number of the limit for the number of pages, right? Yes, sir. Similar to that, is there any restriction on the number of authors that we can include for uh, maybe the uh, SCA index papers or the uh, Scopus paper? Actually, sir, we can go up to uh, 18 members of others sir. in a single research article. We can go up to 18 number of others. 18. 18, sir. 18. Okay. If you see so many foreign research articles, sir, 
they will mention the more than 10 numbers 11 numbers 12 numbers the maximum limit is 18 numbers this 18 not only for the publication for the patents case also 18 are the maximum others count thank you sir sir ramu sir here i want to show one thing sir yesterday one uh, research scholar from sachabama university okay. she asked how to get the copyright from the general actually oh. so it is a very very easy sir just i am mentioning here mm. i open the science direct science direct uh, we can't Dr. see Chava, your, so we cannot screen. see your screen sorry sir okay yeah yeah now it is good. thank you so for example i want to take a graph or image from this research article so here here get rights is there get rights and content then you just click on this rights and uh, counts it will open the one page So here it is asking, this is the general. So we required a figure from this paper. And uh, now we need to mention why, why we required this paper for the, which publication purpose, maybe a general or maybe a textbook. Here, I want to re reuse the same figure in my research article. So that's why I mentioned the reuse in general image, okay? For example, if you want to use in the book or textbooks, you can click on the reuse in a textbook. So like with wherever you required, you just click on it. I'm clicking on general. So after that, so here there are some steps. So I am an academician, I'm a research scholar. Like that, we need to fill this form and continue. There are two more steps are there, very simple steps. So you can easily get the copyright form. So within a 24 hours, you will get the copyright form, but there is a one constraint. So don't take more than two figures from the same publisher or same general. So if you take more than two figures from the publisher, definitely they may charge you. So in a elsewhere, you take the two images in the finger, in the Springer, you take the another required images in the trial run francis you take the another images but to, from the same publisher don't take more than two images it may can't charge. hear you sir is it my voice is yes. audible now madam yes yes audible audible it is sir. yes yeah so here my advice advice is take only two images from the publisher in a single publisher if you take more than two they will charge you a lot so that is uh, from my side, sir. Okay. Our <coughs> time constraints uh, will will stop here. Dear participant, still you have if you have any queries, you can write email to Dr. Chava Venkatesh. We'll share Dr. Dr. Chava Venkatesh uh, email ID in the chat box so that you can you can write uh, your query and you can get clarified.